Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we are going to learn about Oracle ASM. Again, we call it as a automatic storage management. Before starting to this video, let me request all of you to subscribe this channel. Please share this channel to everyone so that everyone will understand about the Oracle DB technologies. Along with that, if you want me to train you, then definitely you can contact me. All the details you can get it into the description section. So let us try to understand what is meant by Oracle ASM and what all things are there inside the Oracle ASM. You know, if you see the word Oracle ASM, automatic storage management. So what does it mean? In the earlier days, when we are dealing with the Oracle database, we used to keep our files in our file system. Let's say if you have a multiple data files, you can store it into the disk. Again, if you have another set of data files, you need to create another disk. Again, you need to set it into the different disk. So that was again uh, really uh, time consuming work and it was really difficult to manage all the disk. To remove this problem, Oracle have introduced, we call it as a Oracle ASM, Oracle Automatic Storage Management. So in the Oracle Automatic Storage Management, what they have done, they have created a disk group which is a bunch of disk. So because of that only, it is really easy to manage all those disk group. So if I'm saying that this group is a collection of different, different disk. Now to accomplish these things, Oracle have to introduce another instance. We call it as a ASM instance. So at this point, we have a two instance here. The first instance, we call it as a database instance. And second instance, you can call it as a ASM instance. So if you get the chance, try to open the parameter file, especially I'm talking about the P file and see if you have the ASM infrastructure in your uh, organization or even your personal laptop itself, you will see that there are two instances if you want to configure ASM. The first instance will be database instance and the second instance will be ASM instance. Now let's try to understand about the architecture of ASM. ASM can be useful for your single database instance as well as for your rack database instances. In the rack database instance, let's assume that we have a three node cluster. So we can have a three host machine, right? So on the three machine, there will be a three instance, but there will be a dedicated one database that is shared by the multiple instances over there. Along with that, we are also configuring our ASM instance. So definitely that ASM instance will be shared with the multiple database instances on different different nodes. So we can say that ASM instance can be shared by the multiple instances in the rack architecture. Along with that, it can be useful for a single database instance. ASM instance is also like your database instance. But again, it is smaller as compared to your database instance because database instance has to do a lot of work. Comparatively, ASM instance is smaller and it has some memory as well as some background processes. But if I'm saying that what ASM instance store, then we can say that ASM instance store the metadata information about your data, like where is your data available in the disk group. And this group is a collection of disk. So you should know that where is your data exactly stored. Along with this ASM, we are getting the multiple features just like your striping is there, mirroring is there, fault tolerance, all those features we are getting and that are all managed by the Oracle itself, which is again a plus point and we don't have the, any dependency on the Unix platform. Sometimes the people will ask us about the IO operation, how the IO operation get work in the ASM architecture. Now we have our data which is available in our disk because ASM disk is mainly useful to store your data files, control files, archive log files, all those information you can store it into your ASM disk and the collection of ASM disk we call it as an ASM group. Here we can have a two ASM group basically. The first will be plus data and second will be plus FRA. Plus data can be useful to store your data files information plus FRA can be store your backup information, your archive log information. So all those data will be stored in plus FRA as well as in plus data. But if you compare the size plus FRA size will be quite better because it is also storing the backup. 
the IO operation will be handled by the database instance only and the metadata information about the data will be handled by ASM instance. So this is all about the ASM architecture. If you have any queries, please write back to me. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want me to train you, definitely you can contact me on the details which is already there in the description section. Thank you so much. Bye bye. See you again with the next video.